In the previous lecture, we completed the first part of ammeter follower configuration. We saw the construction of ammeter follower circuit and we also discussed few properties. And finally, we obtained the AC equivalent circuit with RE model of transistor. This was the circuit. And in this presentation, in part 2, we will calculate the input impedance ZI, the output impedance ZO and the voltage gain AV. We will find out these three parameters using the AC equivalent circuit of ammeter follower configuration. Let's start with the input impedance. The input impedance is the impedance seen from the input terminals. So if you see from these two terminals, you will find the input impedance ZI and the calculation of input impedance is little bit complicated. At first sight, it seems the input impedance is equal to RB connected in parallel with beta RE plus RE. So ZI is equal to RB connected in parallel with beta RE plus resistance RE. This means beta RE and RE are connected in series. But this is not true because in series combination the current is same through the resistors. So if we have two or more resistors the current will always remain same in series combination. This is the definition of series combination. But here if you see the current through resistance beta RE it is equal to IB whereas current through resistance RE is equal to IE. So current is not same. This means these two resistors are not connected in series. And if we want to have these two resistors connected in series, then we need to perform few modifications. We already know the ammeter current, the ammeter current IE is equal to beta plus 1 IB. So in place of IE, we can have beta plus 1 IB. The drop across the resistance RE will remain same and it is equal to current IE multiplied with the resistance RE. This is the drop across the resistance RE and in place of IE we can write beta plus 1 IB. So we have IB beta plus 1 resistance RE. Now to have the same current through these two resistances we can take the resistance beta plus 1 RE in place of resistance RE so that we have the current IB flowing through the resistance beta plus 1 RE. In this way the same current IB will flow through these two resistances. So ZI is equal to RB connected in parallel with beta RE plus beta plus 1 Re current through resistance Re is equal to Ie and current through beta plus 1 Re is equal to Ib and current through beta Re is also equal to Ib. This means these two resistances are connected in series. Now we will perform few simplifications. We already know beta is a large quantity so adding 1 will give us beta. So ZI is equal to resistance RB connected in parallel with beta RE plus beta plus 1 is beta. So beta RE or we can write resistance RB connected in parallel beta inside the bracket RE plus capital RE and generally the resistance RE is much larger than resistance small re. RE is much larger than small re, the dynamic ammeter resistance. So we can neglect the dynamic ammeter resistance. Input impedance in that case is equal to RB connected in parallel with beta re or we can write beta RB RE divided by RB plus beta RE. So this is the expression of input impedance in case of ammeter follower configuration. The only thing you should be careful about 
is the series combination of these two resistances you need these two resistances in series and for that you have to modify this circuit instead of having the resistance re you should have beta plus 1 re now we will calculate the output impedance the output impedance is the impedance seen from the output terminals let's find out the output impedance zo in order to find out the output impedance we first calculate the ammeter current ie the base current ib is equal to input voltage divided by beta re plus beta capital re you can find out the base current by applying kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop and ammeter current is equal to beta plus 1 ib so it is equal to beta plus 1 vi divided by beta re plus beta capital re this is the expression of ammeter current beta plus 1 is nearly equal to beta so we have beta vi divided by i will take beta common in denominator so we have re plus capital re beta and beta will cancel out and finally we have the ammeter current ie equal to vi divided by dynamic ammeter resistance plus resistance re and by using this equation we can easily draw the network so now we will draw the network there is one voltage source having the voltage vi plus minus then we have two resistances re and capital re this resistance is dynamic ammeter resistance and this resistance is resistance capital re and the current in this circuit is ie and we are interested in calculation we are interested in calculation of output impedance zo these two terminals are having the potential difference vo so this means the output impedance is the impedance seen from these two terminals and to calculate the output impedance we need to make vi equal to 0 we have to short circuit the voltage source this means vi is equal to 0 volts and in place of vi we have a short circuit like this so zo is simply equal to re connected in parallel with capital re the output impedance is equal to dynamic ammeter resistance connected in parallel with the ammeter resistance so we have re multiplied with capital re divided by re plus capital re ammeter resistance is typically much larger than the dynamic ammeter resistance capital re is much larger than small re so we can neglect small re from the denominator so we have the output impedance z o equal to r e multiplied with capital r e divided by capital r e this will cancel out and the output impedance is nearly equal to the dynamic ammeter resistance so we have obtained the input impedance and the output impedance now we will find out the voltage gain i will use this circuit to find out the voltage gain the voltage gain is equal to ratio of output voltage to the input voltage the voltage gain av is equal to ratio of output voltage to the input voltage and to obtain this vo by vi i will use this circuit you can see output voltage vo is equal to ie multiplied with re the output voltage vo is equal to ammeter current ie multiplied with resistance re and we already know the ammeter current ie is equal to vi divided by dynamic ammeter resistance plus the ammeter resistance so in place of ie the ammeter current we have 
वी आई डिवाइडेड बाई डायनेमिक एमीटर रेजिस्टेंस प्लस द एमीटर रेजिस्टेंस मल्टीप्लाइड विद द एमीटर रेजिस्टेंस दिस इज इक्वल टू द आउटपुट वोल्टेज वी ओ नाउ आई विल डिवाइड बोथ द साइड्स बाय द इनपुट वोल्टेज वी आई सो वी हैव वी ओ डिवाइडेड बाय वी आई एंड ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड वी हैव कैपिटल आर ई डिवाइडेड बाय स्मॉल आर ई प्लस कैपिटल आर ई वी आई एंड वी आई इन डिनोमिनेटर विल कैंसिल आउट एंड यू कैन सी वी ओ बाई वी आई इज नथिंग बट द वोल्टेज गेन सो वोल्टेज गेन ए वी इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल आर ई द एमीटर रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइडेड बाय द डायनेमिक एमीटर रेजिस्टेंस प्लस द एमीटर रेजिस्टेंस एंड एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन कैपिटल आर ई इज मच ग्रेटर दैन द स्मॉल आर ई वी कैन नेग्लेक्ट स्मॉल आर ई फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर वी विल डू द सेम थिंग वी विल नेग्लेक्ट स्मॉल आर ई फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर सो द वोल्टेज गेन ए वी इज इक्वल टू एमीटर रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइडेड बाय द एमीटर रेजिस्टेंस सो इट इज नियरली equal to 1 and this is what we had in the last lecture i told you the voltage gain is nearly equal to 1 in case of ammeter follower configuration and this is one of the important properties of ammeter follower configuration so this is all for this lecture calculation of current gain is homework for you calculation of current gain is homework for you and you also have to calculate also have to calculate the input impedance the output impedance and the voltage gain when ro is not equal to infinity in this analysis in this particular analysis we have considered the resistance ro equal to infinity ro is the output resistance in the re model of transistor you can see we do not have the output resistance in the re equivalent model you can easily determine all the parameters along with the resistance ro when it is not equal to infinity and this is the homework problem for you once you have your answers post them in comment section now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one